Hey, this is Sam from Sure. This is the second part of a tutorial video covering Select from Frequency List, a feature that allows users to coordinate backup frequencies and deploy them in a runtime environment. In our last tutorial video, we covered the basics of the feature, the ability to calculate extra frequencies, deploy them to a spectrum manager as a part of a CFL, and to reach into that CFL and pull out a backup frequency to assign to a channel in a runtime environment. Now in this video, what I want to do is I want to show the same set of functionality, but featuring um, a show link capable system. So if you're not familiar with the Sure portfolio, uh, our website's got a ton of great details, but in, in one sentence I'll say our Axient products, that's Axient and Axient Digital, have a feature called ShowLink which enables transmitters to be remotely controlled. The beauty of this is when you need to change frequencies of a receiver due to interference or some other reason, you can also change the frequency of the corresponding transmitter, which means both transmitter and receiver jump to a new frequency, completely avoiding interference so your performance doesn't miss a beat. So that's pretty cool. Let me show you how that works. So in my inventory, I want to just call out I've got an AXT400 um, with an AXT100 link. That's my Axiant system. I've got a Spectrum Manager online to manage my backup frequencies. And I've also got an access point, a Showlink access point. That's AXT610. This is the, uh, the access point that's going to enable me to remotely manage and send control uh, messages to my transmitter, which is pretty cool. In the frequency coordination tab, I've got my two channels here. I've also asked for four backups. I've taken a scan. When I calculate frequencies, you'll notice I find frequencies for my entire system, both active primary frequencies as well as backups. And when I go to deploy these frequencies, as usual, I can assign and pick frequencies uh, for my particular channels to receive, and all the extras are going to be backups. Just recapping too, the spectrum manager will be the recipient of the CFL, meaning all the extra frequencies are going to uh, that device to be monitored. Now when I deploy these frequencies, uh, all that CFL, the whole payload goes to the device, uh, and as I've reviewed before, the frequency list dialog shows us a recap of all of the in-use and backup frequencies. And the nice part about a spectrum manager is that it can rank those frequencies for us, showing us those that are good and clean and have a nice track record of being quiet, as well as those that don't have as good a track record. Maybe there was interference recently, or for whatever reason, the spectrum manager perceives that to be not a quality frequency. In this case, it's probably noise level. So now let's go to the runtime environment because this is where show link capable systems like Axiant really are differentiated from non show link capable systems. So you'll notice I've got my channel Allen. Here he is. Uh, and we've got uh, RF reception. And let's say we're doing a line check before performance. And my technical director or somebody says, gosh, look at the RF level. It's kind of low at, at that particular frequency. Or maybe we think we got interference. Something's going wrong. Let's switch to a new frequency. This is the exact use case where you'd want to use this select from frequency list functionality. So uh, I think the most convenient way to access this feature is simply to right click on the channel strip and choose select from frequency list. Now doing so shows us a similar view. We've got all of the backup frequencies in our CFL that are appropriate for a system of the type we're looking at, which is an Axiant system in the G1 band. Now if I want, I can just pick a frequency. Obviously I'd probably want to pick a higher ranked one, so I could choose instead of 481, I'll go to 493, and I can switch to that selected frequency, which is pretty cool. Doing so, you see if I say switch to selected frequency, we'll change the receiver's frequency to this new value. Now here's the thing I want you to pay attention to. If this were not a show link system, if we didn't have a show link access point, which we can see the, the show link level there, or if this was like a ULXD system, Switching frequencies would move the receiver to a new frequency, and our transmitter would, wouldn't know how to move. It would just stay put. Doing so with an Axiant system, when I switch this frequency, you'll notice the RF will go down and come right back up because that's showing us the transmitter is also moving to, in this case, our new frequency of 493,600. So when I switch, one, two, three, you'll notice things go down and come right back up. Our channel recalibrates, and now the entire system, both receiver and transmitter, are set to 493,600. Let me make this bigger for those with old eyes like myself. So this is really cool. I mean, not only can you take advantage of having pre-coordinated backups and deploy them in a runtime environment, but with show link systems, you don't have to miss a beat. Switching to a backup frequency effectively doesn't interrupt your channel's operation at all, and receiver and transmitter can move to a new and clean frequency. 
So this capability is definitely powerful. And uh, you know, just to recap, you can access this feature conveniently from the right-click menu of the channel strip, but the same functionality is there in the inventory, select from frequency list here. Um, also, if you're in the properties panel, this detailed window that shows all these properties, in the radio tab, the same functionality is there. Now, actually, you know, while I'm here, I'll mention one other cool feature. This new frequency control is kind of like a macro version of the select from frequency list. Select from frequency list shows you all the frequencies and lets you pick the one that you want to uh, deploy manually. Using this new frequency button doesn't even show you a dialogue. It just takes the highest ranked frequency off the top of the list and sends it immediately to your new system. So this is a really great way to say, oh my God, I'm in trouble, new frequency. And your entire system, both receiver and transmitter, will switch. Now this feature is only uh, available for uh, users of the Spectrum Manager, the AXT600, but it's just a little bonus feature that uh, lets you take the most advantage of being nimble and uh, avoiding interference in the face of any RF issues. Uh, so I'll, I'll cover that feature in a little bit depth in a later video, but uh, I just wanted to make sure you saw the uh, effects and a real demo of selecting from frequency list to change frequencies in a runtime environment and with a show link capable system, how that can let you move transmitter and receiver to a new frequency without missing a beat. If you've got any questions or comments, please be sure to leave them down below, uh, and I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thanks.